Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the basics right at the intro of nutrition. And to start with the basics, I guess we need to start with the definition of nutrition. So Webster definition of nutrition is the process of eating the right kind of food so you can grow properly and be healthy. Nourishment of food to support life. A nutrient of any substance that can be metabolized by an organism to give energy and build tissue. So we're talking about food here. We're not talking about Skittles. They don't count as, as fruit. And we're not talking about cookies and whatnot. We're talking about real food. And there's two categories of food. You got your macronutrients and your micronutrients. And a lot of what we're going to talk about uh, is both of those categories. We're going to break those down. But you know, kind of when I when I look at this, I kind of see and you hear the old saying, um, "You are what you eat." You know, we've all heard that. I think there's even a book that's out called that, and uh, reminds me of one of my clients. She walked in the other day, and we were just talking about. You know, you see magazines, you read things on the internet, and it just makes people start thinking, are we really healthier today than we were, let's say, 100 years ago? And it got me thinking a little bit. And uh, really, we're, our life expectancy may be longer, it is longer, but are we really healthier? And you look at people and what they're eating and how we're so stressed. And I put a little funny thing in there because you can look at stress Stressed is dessert spelled backwards. And I, and I laugh when I saw that. I had to add that in there. But isn't it so true that people get stressed out and they just grab something. They just grab desserts, they'll grab fast food, whatever it is. And they feel like that's going to actually make them feel better. Unfortunately, it actually makes them feel worse. I mean, you add 5, 10 pounds, usually someone feels worse about themselves. So, um, you know, I ask people, you know, how, how are we actually doing? Well, let's look. America, the average American eats about 150 pounds of sugar a year. That's crazy, because about 100 years ago, the average American ate two pounds of sugar a year. Now, in 1970, it went up to like 100, 120, but we're at 100, and I think the exact number is like 156 right now, but over 150 pounds of sugar a year we're consuming. And that, if you look at it, that's 55 gallons of soda a year. Now, I could put soda there, I could put energy drinks because, you know, you look at some of these energy drinks out there, and we'll cover that later, but energy drinks, and I'm not going to say a name, but some of them have 28 grams per serving. Well, if you look at 28 grams per serving, and you look that there's 4 grams per teaspoon, you imagine taking 7, 8 teaspoons of sugar and putting it on your cornflakes in the morning? I mean, you've got you to gotta have a visual. You've got to see that. It's just crazy to think like how we're eating. I think it's just because they don't know. People just don't know and they're not educated. So let's also look at this. Here's the U.S. We're supposed to be so um, advanced. Um, our nutrition programs, our health system, and I'm not here to put down anything about the health system or whatnot, but we're, we're so more advanced in other countries. But look, we're 30% of us in the U.S., over 30% are what we call clinically obese, and 60% are overweight. And you can look around everywhere you go. You can go to, you know, theme parks, you can go wherever, and you'll see that. And you'll see people overeating, and you just see people that are just overweight and obese. But you think, why are they like that? You know, what, where did, how did they get like that? And is it lack of education? Because we've got tons of education out there. We've got tons of information out there. I think it's information overload. But I think it's just people making bad choices. And, um, you know, hopefully people see this and, and you as an actual health advisor and someone that can actually help them will help them make those choices. So look at this. The U.S. consumes 72% of all medications in the world. The average American is on two to three prescription drugs. We are consuming 70% of the world's medications, and usually it's due to bad choices of nutrition, exercise, you know, wellness in general. You know, we, you look at this as, well, you know, um, my back's hurting me, or I need this, I got inflammation of the gut, I got this going on. I got so many things going on, so I want to pump myself with medication. When really, if you just look at someone's nutrition and we tweak some things, we'll probably be able to get a lot of those medications away. Now, I'm not saying 
never use your meds, doctors are wrong. I'm just saying that we can really tweak a lot in our nutrition and our diet and really affect how much medications you really do need, if any at all. So let's look at this. A third of Americans get 47% of their calories from junk food. And you can see it all over the place. I mean, you'll look at a, I haven't been to McDonald's or anything in a long, long time, but if you actually go to, um, and you drive down the road and you see these drive throughs they're packed for lunch, they're packed for dinner, and these aren't people that with low income going to these. You'll see people with Mercedes and Bentleys and nice rides and whatnot going through these drive throughs and they have a $100,000 car, but they're buying a $5 meal or a $10 meal when really should they be putting their money into their nutrition and their overall wellness instead of some kind of, I like nice cars, don't get me wrong, but a nice ride? I think that's where our mindset's a little bit off sometimes. Now, we all have heard, you know, your doctor knows best. And I think doctors are great, but I love it when I talk to my clients and they say, well, let me talk to my doctor about this nutrition plan or taking this supplement or whatever it is. Now, your doctor, if you talk to them, ask them, hey, how many hours, how many credit hours of nutrition did you take while you were in med school? And the average doctor took one to two credits of, of nutrition. So they learned basic carb, metabolism, proteins, fats, and whatnot. But guys, they're very outdated when it comes to what's going on in nutrition and total wellness. So I'm not putting doctors, I think doctors are awesome, but I think we need to really sit down with a nutritionist, a registered dietitian, someone, a health professional like yourself, whatever, that knows a lot about nutrition that can kind of guide people. So is there a difference between a dietitian and a nutritionist? Absolutely. A dietitian, a registered dietitian can sit there and write you out a specific diet for you. A nutritionist like myself, someone who can just kind of give you advice. I can't technically write you out a nutrition plan or a diet per se, but we can give you good advice on making healthy decisions. So when you finish this course, you're not going to be a registered dietitian. We're not saying you are. But you will have a good understanding of what's going on in wellness, nutrition, and, and total exercise and whatnot. So look at this also. As food is, you got to remember this too, is over the time, over 100 years or so, the farming industry, everything's changed. You know, we want things done fast. We want things done now. Uh, we're using pesticides. We're growing, you know, these cattle to be massive in short periods of time. You know, that's our society is now quick, fast, microwave society. So we're, we have these farmers picking foods and fruits and vegetables. They're picking them for, they're grown for taste, not their nutrients. You got to realize they're not when a when a apple is picked, it's got to be packed and shipped and sent, and it could take four, five, six, seven days to get to your grocery store or wherever it is. And during the time once it's picked, the nutrient level starts dropping instantly. So you got to realize that too that today's food isn't the same as it was a hundred years ago. It's not as fresh. We're using a lot more pesticides and fungicides and herbicides and you know, and that's a whole nother topic we'll talk about when we get into organics. But for now, I just wanted to cover a little bit basics on nutrition.